Mixed in with the devastation, 10 of the homes along Bonnie Dune Road that still stand are thanks to one of the neighborhood's own, Mark Kuchler. We seem to be the only piece of equipment that was up here for two days, which was kind of scary. Um, I've never ran a fire engine or fought fire before. Mark and a neighbor borrowed a friend's old truck and went to work last Sunday. Filling up the hose with water and dousing flames. At one point we drove through a wall of fire. This whole side was engulfed in fire, racing towards the house here. We laid water all the way across here, back and forth and back and forth. Then they would move to another home, like this one across the street, that's damage free. I feel proud of myself. I feel that uh, uh, I'm really happy that some people get to go home to your house. But tonight we see more destruction off Highway 236 in Boulder Creek. Many homes up Leafwood Drive, just rubble, and up Fallen Leaf Drive, more ruin. Near the Boulder Creek Golf Course on Thursday, we watched firefighters putting out flames that were encroaching behind homes like this one here on Lake Drive, which still stands today. But the home right next door, now completely destroyed. We continue to increase the number of firefighters uh, that, that are arriving every day. And we're up to 1,511. A 70-year-old Davenport man who didn't evacuate was killed in the fire complex, and firefighters have rescued six others trapped while trying to save their homes. It's why 45,000 Santa Cruz County residents are asked to stay out, but Mark Kuchler says staying saved at least 10 of his neighbors. It's overwhelming, but uh, it's amazing, you know, what a couple guys can do with a piece of equipment. And today, Mark was putting hot spots out wherever he saw them in Bonnie Dew. Now, there really is no way to get back into the Santa Cruz Mountains. Even when I was driving around today, I had a sheriff's deputy pull me over because I'm in an unmarked car, and I had to show them my media credential just to get by. Aaron?